Wikimania conference. And first of all, I would like to thank everybody who was involved in organizing uh, this year's conference and um, uh, the, space, the challenges of uh, all the online organization uh, of the different aspects of this annual meeting. Uh, so, uh, we are from Wiki World Heritage User Group, and today we will share our story in building partnerships uh, with different uh, heritage geos uh, in different countries. So, greetings from India and Morocco. I am Nasima Shahboun. I am an architect and Wikimedian from Morocco, and I am the chair co founder of Wiki World Heritage. Uh, hello everyone, I am Khushi Shah, I'm a conservation engineer by profession and I recently joined uh, Wiki World Heritage as the Wiki World Heritage Coordinator. So first of all, let us introduce Wiki World Heritage User Group. We are a thematic user group of the Wikimedia Foundation that was recognized in October 2020. Our aim is especially in countries with no Wikimedia affiliates. And how we are doing it is through uh, proceeding through a key strategy, which is building uh, partnerships with heritage NGOs in these countries. So how do we work in order to build these partnerships and implement our activities in countries without affiliates? First of all, we start by organizing thematic projects. Among our projects, there is tall cities for cities listed as World Heritage, we have wind danger that tends to document World Heritage sites uh, listed by the UNESCO on the danger list with tangible for intangible World Heritage, etc. And these uh, projects have several relevant countries at once. Therefore, we identify the target countries of our projects. And in countries without Wikimedia communities or without Wikimedia affiliates, we identify heritage NGOs. And of course, we get uh, in contact with these NGOs in order to present the project, present what the movement is, and try to discuss the different details of these projects in order to adapt it to uh, the uh, local context. So once the collaboration is agreed with the heritage NGO, we try to work through building capacity in the country in order to enable the local population to document its own heritage and to lead the activities themselves in their country. So along with the, organ the uh, local NGO, we identify volunteer organizers of our activities and we conduct extensive training of trainers for these volunteers. For example, last year we conducted Wikipedia training of trainers in uh, Yemen and Libya. And this year we are, con we are conducting trainings in Ethiopia, Senegal and Guatemala. Uh, either it is in person or online, and the edification is led by these volunteers I not, and not by the members of the Keyword Heritage. And also, we organize the photography campaigns and sometimes Wikidata editathons through the same process. We always try to build capacity for local volunteers in order to enable them to lead the activities themselves and to uh, document their heritage by their own. So after the completion of the project and after the uh, uh, conducting of different training of trainers and the organization of the different editathons and campaigns, we try to sustain this collaboration through proposing further collaborations with the NGO and also with the interested volunteers. We can propose other activities, follow up editathons or uh, completely new projects. And here I'm going to give uh, some overview about the countries we are working on and to speak more about some positive stories and some challenge stories. So, so 
currently working with NGOs from Ethiopia, Guatemala, and Senegal. And actually, the most successful partnership was with Scene for Culture and Heritage NGO in Libya, where uh, we started last year a project-based collaboration in order to document the heritage sites uh, in Libya that are listed by the UNESCO as endangered. Uh, so we uh, conducted training of trainers about Wikipedia and we also organized a photography campaign. And through building capacity for the members of the NGO and also for volunteer uh, organizers, we tried to build also community. So all these uh, participants discovered what the Wikimedia movement is and were interested in the different options and possibilities offered by the movement. So they were very interested in continuing this collaboration and continuing their participation in the movement. So after this Wikipedia training, we conducted a Wikidata training that was not initially part of the project. So some of the uh, members of the NGO learned how to use Wikidata and they are actually involving Wikidata in one of their projects about heritage sites and climate change in Libya. For the challenge story, I'm going to speak about our partnership with Harmony Development Foundation in Yemen. We started also with the Endanger project in order to document the World Heritage Sites in danger in the country and uh, the completion of our activities, including the training of trainers, was very challenging due to connection issues in the country. The internet situation was very bad and also due to the political situation. And this resulted in a loss of motivation of the volunteers. So they couldn't continue contributing to the different wiki projects after the completion of uh, Wind Danger. So what we learned from this experience, first of all, we should try to find partners with a similar vision. There are many heritage NGOs that are interested in different parts of uh, heritage preservation. But it was important to find NGOs that are interested in heritage documentation so they can be motivated. Then we use relevant examples to, to introduce the wiki movement to them. For example, through uh, trying to uh, shed lights on how Wikidata or other projects can improve their ongoing projects. For example, how they can use Wikidata for interactive mapping of their heritage sites. And of course, we think about incentives like certificates, prizes, and acknowledgement through publishing articles on our website about these activities. And then in-person meetings are very important in order to create some friendly relationship with people and in, uh, uh, increase their interest in participation. Uh, then this year, we thought about involving more heritage professionals in the group, and I will let Kushi uh, speak about this part. Uh, hello all. So since aim of the Wiki World Heritage is to promote various kinds of heritage, it is important to involve people from heritage background to stimulate better conver conversations and approach towards the future of the project. Uh, next slide, please. Involving emerging heritage professionals from diverse backgrounds helps raise important dialogues as well as increase the global reach of the projects. It opens up the space to collaborate with various organizations as well as include more and more volunteers into it and giving a platform for emerging professionals to express their views and document their own heritage. Next, please. Yeah. So involving from uh, involving people from heritage background also allows more on ground reach and better documentation. One of the example could be taken as the recent uh, photo heritage walk that was conducted in the Ahmedabad, which is also the world uh, and which is also the world heritage city. So as a part of the uh, collaboration between Wiki World Heritage and Indian Heritage, we had conducted this walk where we had documented several historic sites of the city. This allowed more people uh, from diverse background as well as heritage background to connect with Wikimedia, understand what we do and document the city in a better format. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, we also uh, launched a new session, new project called Wiki Heritage R in, on May 2022. 
the aim of the project is to reach out to emerging professionals local ngos established institutes as well as platform uh, as well as expert professionals and create a platform for open discussions with them this project has allowed us to reach out to various people across the globe working in different kinds of heritage conservation and promotion next please the project has allowed us to collaborate with people across different geographic areas such as africa various countries of africa united kingdom and various countries from asia next please so from our different experiences we had one major learning is that wikimedia is a potent tool for heritage ngos in order to document the different aspects of their culture and we should always emphasize on this part wikimedia is a tool and not a end for them and in the same time understanding wikimedia and how the wikimedia movement works was very complicated for these ngos coming from different backgrounds and who previously didn't have any clue about the movement and the sister projects of wikipedia so what we need is to create some interactive and appealing material like uh, short video sequences that really explain what is the movement and what support can the movement have to different communities in order to encourage the different NGOs, especially in countries with no affiliates, to join the movement and create their own Wikimedia community. So if anybody has any questions, before the end of the session. So from our previous experiences, we would like to invite and encourage the Wikimedians from different countries and also uh, the foundation to think about how to uh, explain in a very simple, practical and appealing way what the Wikimedia movement is and what is its contribution uh, to uh, and what support it can give to the different uh, NGOs. So we have a question, how many heritage and non-profit organizations exist? Actually, we don't have the exact number of heritage NGOs uh, as we are. We have an international scope, so we don't have a limited geographic scope. But uh, what we can say is that uh, in every country, there is at least one heritage NGO that is interested by the documentation aspect and the involvement of the local community. So it will be good to think about catalyzing partnerships with these NGOs in order to catalyze the creation of Wikimedia communities in these countries. Recording stopped.